Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. I've been teaching people for a long time, and one of the people I'm teaching wants to know how to reshape the slab. So the answer is you can use the reshape tool. You can add polygons to this. You can add rectangles, circles. There's all sorts of things you can add to the slab. The reshape's quite nice because you can use things like offset a side, offset a point. You can add a vertex. You can change a vertex types. There's a lot of options you've got with that. If you've got a solid slab, a real quick and dirty way to do it is just to add another rectangle, select them both, add surface, or you can use clip surface, and you can apply it to the entire slab or just a portion of your component. One of the things I often do is a slab set down for a shower. So we might have a shower in this area here, and we're going to create a little set down here. I'm going to extrude that, and that's going to set down just an inch. So minus 25 millimeters or minus one inch. I better make that minus one inch, otherwise it won't go down. And then you can select both of those objects and you can subtract or add the 3D object to the slab. And so now I've got my slab set down in my slab, which means that when the contractor comes along, he'll see that set down. I can annotate it and it'll be created correctly. To remove it, you can go right click and edit the modifiers. That's the one that's creating my slab set down. Delete it, exit my modifiers, and my shower set down is gone. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you want a real detailed movie, if you want to see how I created this slab accurately and with all of those coffers in it, then become a member because I uploaded the movie this morning. It's now on my course. It's for pro members only. So have a look at that. There's a whole course coming for domestic design.